Hello children. I hope you all are fine and looking after yourselves. I want to apologize. I want to say sorry to you for not posting a story last week. This is because I was traveling to the mountains where it was very very cold. But the moment I came back here, the first thing that I did was to write down a story for you. And here I am with the story Oggy the Octopus. Just a reminder, press. I hope you've done it. All right, let's begin the story. Once upon a time there was an octopus whose name was Oggy. Oggy was an octopus. He had eight long arms. He was swimming in the water very very fast. He was going to meet his friend Oni. Oni was an ostrich. Oggy jumped out of the water and what did he see? He saw so many houses there. Now Oggy didn't know where Oni Ostrich lived. He didn't have his address. So he called out aloud, Oni, Oni Ostrich, where are you? But there was no reply. So, Oggy Octopus decided to go inside the first house. Inside the house, it was dark. The lights were switched off. Oggy stretched out his eight arms and went around the house to find his friend Ostrich. Something pointed and hard touched Oggy's arms. Was it Oni the ostrich? No, it was the ox with two big horns on his head. <gasps> Mooed the ox angrily. Oh, I'm sorry, said Oni octopus and he came out of the house. Oni, Oni, where are you? called out Oggy Octopus. But there was no reply again. So Oggy Octopus decided to go inside the second house. Inside the house, it was dark. The lights were off. Oggy stretched out his eight arms and went around the house to find his friend Ostrich. Something round and juicy touched Oggy's arms. Was it Oni Ostrich? No, they were round juicy oranges kept in a basket. Ah, the juice dripped out. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, sorry, said Oggy Octopus and he came out of the house. Oni Ostrich, Oni Ostrich, where are you? called out Oggy Octopus. But there was no reply again. So, Oggy Octopus decided to go inside the third house. Inside the house, it was dark. The lights were switched off. The octopus stretched out his eight arms and went around the house to find his friend, the ostrich. Four legs touched Oggy's arms. Ah, was it Oni the ostrich? No, it was an otter.
doctor eating munching his favorite olives oh sorry said the octopus and he came out of the house oni oni where are you he called out once again but there was no reply so oggy the octopus decided to go inside the next house it was dark inside the house the lights were switched off so the octopus stretched out his eight arms and went around to find his friend the ostrich something sticky touched his arm was it oni the ostrich no it was an ointment oozing out of a tube pachak 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 said the ointment oh i'm sorry said oggy the octopus and he came out of the house now there was only one house left so oggy decided to go inside it inside the house it was dark the lights were switched off the octopus stretched out his eight arms and went around to find his friend ostrich a beak two legs and some feathers touched oggy's arms was it oni the ostrich yes it was oni the ostrich he stretched on the lights and hugged oggy octopus tight they were so happy to meet each other so did you like the story children okay now we are going to answer some questions together who had two big horns yes the ox what was kept in the basket the oranges what was oozing out of the tube the ointment oranges ointment ox ostrich octopus all these words begin with the sound o o o oranges o ointment o ox o ostrich now let us see which is the letter that has the sound o let me go and get it for you quickly yes here it is the letter o the letter o says o come on speak with me o o says o o says o now you can go around the house and collect some more things that begin with the sound of o bye see you next time lots of love from mrs fable bye